Hello and welcome to the second lesson. Now it's time to download and set up WebDriver IO packages and configuration. So again, open terminal and first thing you always need to do is installing WebDriver IO CLI package. So open terminal and type npm install and you want to save it to the dev dependencies and the package is at video slash CLI and hit enter. And as you can see, we have node modules installed, package JSON. And if you open it, you should see that the dev dependencies are added here with the video CLI version 6 or higher. So next step is to generate WebDriver IO config file. And to do it, let's go mpx video config and hit enter. And now it will ask you some questions where you can specify how the configuration will look like. This will greatly help with the setting up the project. So first question is, where should your tests be launched? So hit enter because we will launch them locally. Now, where is your automation backend located? Again, in our case, it will be on my local machine. So hit enter. Now you can select the framework which you want to use. You can choose Mocha, Jasmine or Cucumber. And in this course, we will be using Mocha, and it's also my recommendation for your project. Next, you can choose if you want to use sync or async uh, commands. In our case, we will be using sync. Where are your tests located? We can leave it just for now. We will update it later because we haven't created a test folder yet. So press enter. Now you can select which reporter you want to use. The default is spec, so let's use it. Now, what service we want to set up. So let's use Chrome driver, which is the easiest way to do it. Also the most powerful. So hit enter. And we don't have base URL, so we can submit it. And as you can see, now it's installing all the important packages for our project. So now just wait until everything is finished. And we can close the terminal. And as you can see, there is a lot of dependencies. We have video CLI, video local runner, Mocha framework, spec reporter, sync. We also have Chrome driver and Chrome driver service. Again, uh, your versions might be a little bit different. It depends on the time when you are taking the course, but everything needs to be six or higher. I mean, everything from the video packages. So I think that's it for now and we can move on to the next video.